So tonight, Vanilla, we are looking at some very interesting events that are about to take place. Me katsomme, että hyvin mielenkiintoisia tapahtumia, jotka ovat tulossa. We are so blessed. That we really know what is happening today. And we need to see that we have upon our heads a helmet. It's called the helmet of salvation. It is the blood of Jesus that covers our minds. So Jesus and Christus and Mary, they got baked down here and here. And it covers our eyes, our ears, our mouth. It's a big glass in our bed, or our bed is on. Because there is power in the blood. So the verse is on going. That means we will be able to think clearly. Tämä tarkoittaa, että pystymme ajattelemaan selkeästi. Because I really believe there is a program. So that we are uskon, että on oikea. Which people are instigating on this planet. If you understand about technology, and what technology is about, we need to be aware of the devil's devices. And the Holy Spirit is revealing it to us. This Bible is an absolute truth, and it is history in the making today. Yeah, the Matrantu on absolutely the totus, and it's on history that the Bible is telling us. Because if you are someone that has studied this book for years, because you have studied this book for years, or have studied the Matrantu for years, or have studied the Matrantu for years, you will know full well. The prophecy now is happening; it's coming to pass. And the prophecy is coming to pass at this time. But the most wonderful thing is, we have known about these events for two thousand years. And the more we learn about these events, the more we learn about them. The more we learn about them. And so it's no surprise to us. But it is very obvious and very clear. It is very obvious and very clear. So tonight we're going to look at these events. Because the world is in need of revival. Sillä maailma on herätyksen tarpeessa. There is a very serious hour. On erittäin vakava tunti tulossa tai aika. We see a troubled world. A troubled slide. And we begin to realize. Me näemme erittäin vaikeassa asemassa olevan maan ja maapallon ja me alamme ymmärtämään. It's time for a godly revival. Tarvitaan jumalallinen herätys. Revival must start in the church. Ja herätyksen pitää alkaa seurakunnasta. Isaiah the prophet lived in such a time. Jesaja eli tällaisessa ajassa. And if we have a look at Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1. Ja jos katsomme. Jesaja lukua kuusi ja sieltä jaetta yksi. And verse one. Eli jae, eh, luku kuusi ja yksi. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphim, each one had six wings, with two he covered his face, with two he covered his feet, with two he did fly. And one cried unto another, and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, woe is me! For I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of the people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphim unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from office of the altar. He laid it upon my mouth, and he said, Lo, this 
Jesus has touched your lips and your iniquity is taken away and you, your sin is purged. And I heard the voice of the Lord say, Who shall I send? Who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. Kuningas Kusian Kuolimuola, minä olen Herra. Hän istui korkealla ja ylhäisellä istuimella, ja hänen vaatteensa lieppeet täyttävät tänkkäni. Hänen yläpuolellaan seisoivat seraat, joilla oli kuusi siipeä kultakin. Kahdella he peittivät kasvonsa, kahdella verhosivat ruumiinsa ja kahdella länsivät. He huusivat toinen toisilleen, pyhä, pyhä, pyhä on Herra Sebaot. Hänen kirkkautensa täyttää kaiken maan. Oven pienet vakisivat äänen, äänen, äänen voimasta, ja huoren tuli täyteen sanoa. Ja minä sanoin, voi minua, minä hukun. Minulla on saastaiset huulet, ja saastaiset huulet on kansalla, joka keskellä elää. Ja nyt minun silmäni ovat nähneet kuninkaan, Herra Sebaotin. Silloin yksi sarateista lensi luokseni kädestään hehkuva hiili, jonka hän oli ottanut pihdellä uhriauttorilta. Hän kosketti silloin minun huuliani ja sanoi, Katso, tämä on koskenut huuliasi. Sinun syyllisyytesi on poissa ja syyllisi sovitettu. Minä kuulin Herran äänen sanavan. Kenet minä lähetän? Kuka lähtee saman viejäksi? Niin minä vastasin. Tässä olen. Lähetän minut. Isaiah the prophet in such a time as we now live. Eli saman kaltaisessa ajassa kuin missä me elämme nyt. It is a very similar kind of an understanding that we have today. On hyvin samanlainen ymmärrys kuin mikä meillä on tänä päivänä. In chapter 1 it's about a wayward people. Uh, ensimmäinen luku kertoo harhaan kulkevasta kansasta. Chapter 5 is woe is pronounced. Viides luku on uh, voi toivotuksista. In other words, a warning. Toisin sanoen, Get ready. Be prepared. Ole valmis. Be ready with your God. Ole valmis will eventuate. Niin te tapahtuu, mitä tulee tapahtumaan. Chapter 6 is Isaiah revived in such a time. Ja kuudes luku kertoo Jesajan herätyksestä siinä ajassa, sellaisessa ajassa. We look at our needs. Me katsomme meidän tarpeita. Isaiah was transformed. Yes, I am. Had a vision. Had a, had a new awareness of the character of God. Uusi ymmärrys Jumalan uh, luonteesta. In the year that King Uzziah died. Kuningas Uzziah kuoli vuonna. Uzziah, a great and powerful king. Uzziah. Hyvä ja voimakas, voimakas kuningas. When he died, Isaiah had a vision. Kun hän kuoli, Jesaja näki näin. Do you ask the Lord for vision? Pyydättekö te Herralta näkijä? You can have dreams and visions. Että teillä voi olla unia ja näkyjä. The way you get a dream or a vision is get into the Bible. And start to ask the Holy Spirit to show you what is in here of the supernatural visions and acts of God. Nää sinä saat näkyä ja unia kun menet raamattuun ja rupet katsomaan sieltä, että vielä kysymään, että mikä on Jumalan ylituonnollista toimintaa. Isaiah had a vision of the King of Kings. He saw none other than the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, I am naki. Näyn kuninkaiden kuninkaista. Hän ei nähnyt sen, kenen hän näki, oli Jeesus Kristus. Jesus said, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Jeesus sanoi, jos olet nähnyt minut, olet nähnyt isän. He is in majestic splendor, sitting high on a throne, high and exalted. Hän istuu korotettuna valtaistuimella, korotettuna korkealle. His throne rules over all. Hänen valtaistuimensa hallitsee kaikkea. Jesus Christ rules this planet. Jeesus Kristus hallitsee And tätä planeetta. And he is seated on a great white throne. Ja hän istuu suurella valkoisella valtaistuimella. And as we see him, 
And we see that his raiment filled the glorious temple. Ja kun me näemme, me näemme, että hänen liepeet täyttivät temppeli. In all his beauty, in all his glory. Kaikessa kauneudessa ja kaikessa kunniassa. Don't you know you are the temple of God and that the Holy Spirit is dwelling within you? Etkö sinä tiedä, että sinä olet Jumalan temppeli ja pyhä henki asuu sinussa? For the kingdom of heaven is within you. Sillä Jumalan valtakunta tai taivaan valtakunta on sinussa. You know no defeat, only victory. Et tunne tappiota, ainoastaan voimaa. We have victory in our Lord Jesus Christ. You do not look outside of yourself, you look within. Sillä meillä on voitto Jeesuksessa Kristuksessa. Et katso ympärillesi, vaan katso sisällesi. And pray to God that we get such a vision. Some of you, I don't doubt, have had those kind of visions. Isaiah is now unable to look to Uzziah. He looks to God. He finds out what God is really like. He is omnipotent. And on Kaikkivaltias. All powerful. Kaikkivaltias. He is omniscient. All knowing. Ja kaikki tietävä. He is omnipresent. He is everywhere. Kaikkivalla läsnä. The Holy Spirit is everywhere. Yhä heikin on kaikkialla. People can only be one place at one time. Devils can only be one place at one time. Even Satan can only be one place at one time. Ihmiset pystyvät olemaan vain yhdessä paikassa yhdellä kertaa. Demonit pystyvät olemaan vain yhdessä paikassa yhdellä kertaa. Jopa paholainen pystyy olemaan vain yhdessä paikassa yhdellä kertaa. Isaiah had to learn that God is very holy. Isaiah piti oppia, että Jumala on todella pyhä. I pray, Holy Spirit. Minä rukoilen, että Jumala on pyhä. Että opetat sen meihin. We want to be a holy church. Haluamme olla pyhä seurasta. And in the world to be known as a holy people. We see that there were angels attending God. The vision produced deep conviction of sin in this prophet. And we come to a place of confession. Ja tulemme tunnustuksen paikalle. Holy, 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 the Trinity, the three in one. Pyhä, pyhä, pyhä. Ja kolminaisuus, kolme yhdessä. He is so holy. Hän on niin pyhä. Very, very holy. Todella, todella pyhä. Moses had to take the shoes off his feet. Moses joutui ottamaan kengät pois jalastaan. Because you right now are standing on holy ground. When you're in your home, it is holy ground. Wherever you are, it becomes holy ground. Because you are in Christ. Christ is in you. Begin to realize about this temple. And we have to realize today that in Israel they are wanting to build a temple. And that temple is anti-Christ. It is not the temple because we are the temple. Jesus said you put this temple down and I will raise it up in three days. The Israeli Prime Minister said when they asked him are you going to build the temple? And he said yes. They said well how long will it take to build it? And he said three days. You know with technology it's very easy to build a little temple. 
But we must understand who is going to be in that temple. Because already there is the Sanhedrin and the Pharisees and the Pharisees are back again. And you understand the Pharisees did not like Jesus Christ at all. In fact, if you go through all the scriptures, Jesus always was against the Pharisees. He said you're a pack of vipers. Why wash two? Dead men's bones. Very much against them. And they have never forgot that. Even though they crucified and the Romans and even though Jesus was crucified. There is always in their minds some doubt about what they did. Because God has written it in our minds and hearts. We are built on better promises and a new covenant. When we look at these actual uh, Pharisees, they have seven laws. But these laws are coming out of the Talmud. The Talmud is a really very evil book. It's not the Torah. And we don't read it, but if you ever did, it is really derogative. It is derogative. So erittäin derogative. It's against. Se on and it says wrong things against. And it pulls things down. And it is not taas. a correct se ei ole what oikea. they say. Se, se mitä he sanovat, ei ole oikein. Kind of, if you know what I mean. Jos ymmärrät, mitä but if you understand Mutta jos ymmärrät, that the seven laws are called the Noahid Noah, I laws. No. Noah, I laws. Noah, I guess. Yeah. You might say, why aren't you telling us some nice little religious things today? Why are you going on about this stuff? Some of you fully well know why. Very well, well. You know. Because you study this very powerfully. I would like to say these seven laws. The first one is you shall worship the Lord your God and make no other idol. So which God are the Pharisees talking about? It's not our God. It's their God. And they say if you worship anyone else, they say anyone, they are going to be decapitated. In other words, they are you might say to me, oh, but that's over in Jerusalem. Actually, it's all over the world. These laws are going to be put forward and already are. When I talk, when I talk like this, you check it out. We have, we have time. We do, because you're sitting here free. So we have time. And if you don't know about it, get collectively together and talk about these subjects. 
jos te ette tiedä näitä, niin tulkaa yhdessä yhteen ja keskustelkaa näistä. So we all get filled in into what the truth is. Jotta me kaikki uh, saadaan näkemys siitä, mikä on totuus. Because they say, Koska if ne... you worship Jesus, hallelujah, mighty God. Jos te ylistätte Herraa ja Jeesusta, Anybody that does is going to be decapitated. You don't have a spirit of fear, but a power, love, sound mind. One big chop, straight to heaven. You won't feel it, you're not going to have it. But someone will not feel it, they will not see it, they will not know about it. Why? Because our God is in control of every single situation that arises in your life. God is God of all flesh. Yeah. Ah, it will. Tunde ma tai tätä tilanteita koska Herra on Herra sinun Jumalasi kaikissa elämän tilanteissa ja kaikissa missä sinä olet. You understand tonight, church? I think I would rather go gloriously. Gloriously to God in that way than roll around on a bed trying to go. One thing I would say to you though, you cannot kill a spirit. You are a spirit in a physical body. Because when Nicodemus said to Jesus, when Jesus said to him, you must be born again. Nicodemus said, how can I come out of my mother's womb a second time? Jesus said, you don't understand Nicodemus. That which is flesh is flesh, that which is spirit is spirit. And so tonight we have an understanding that when these things happen, the Holy Spirit will have prepared us and we will be raised up, each one of us, to know our God in a miraculous way, a supernatural way, as they have all through the Old, all through the Old Testament, New Testament, supernatural acts of God. We are not a religious people. We are a peculiar people. Because we understand. God's Bible speaks. Great supernatural and we begin to realize tonight, church, that God is revealing to us now. Be prepared. And we we'll say this to the Lord. Show us the way. Show us how to do it. God help us. We pray. Because actually, people say, we are going to be persecuted for his name's sake. Koska usein ihmiset sanovat, että meitä tullaan vainoamaan hänen nimensä tähän. Very glorious. Se on erittäin kunniakasta. But people in the world are being persecuted right now, and they are not even in the church. Ja ihmisiä kyllä vainotaan tänäkin päivänä, jotka eivät ole edes The world is coming under great persecution. Never mind church. We gloriously know. Because Christ is in you. And you have Christ in you and you are in Christ. Greater is he in you than he that's in this world. And this is what we look at tonight. And actually, if you look at the book of Revelation, chapter 13, it's very clear. 
chapter 13. And we're going to look at verse 13. And he does great wonders, and that he makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. He deceives them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Say to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Se tekee suuria tunnustekoja ja se on tulen työmään taivaasta maahan ihmisten ääreen. Niillä tunnusteoilla, joita sillä on valta tehdä ensimmäisen teron nimissä, se johtaa harmaan kaikki maan asukkaat niin, että saa heidät tekemään patsaan sen teron kunniaksi, jota on isketty mielellä, mutta joka on vironnut henkiin. Se on saanut valtaan antaa teron kuvalle hengen niin, että ku kuva jotka kykenee puhumaan. Ja se on, saa, se on myös saanut vallan tappaa kaikki, jotka eivät kumara tänne teron kuvaa. And of course, on this earth, people are being deceived. Ja tietenkin tässä maan päällä ihmisiä johdetaan harmaan, niitä jotka elävät By means of miracles. Ihmeen tekojen uh, avulla johdetaan Sometimes maan. we look at technology and it's quite miraculous. Joskus me katsomme teknologiaa ja ajattelemme, että se on aika ihmeellistä. And here it speaks about an image. Ja tässä puhutaan kuvasta. On your phone is an image. Kännykässäsi on kuva. When you look at movies, they're images. Kun näet ja katsot elokuvia, ne ovat kuvia. And apparently there is a time, and very soon, when as many as would not worship this image of the beast should be killed. Ja tulee hetki, että ne, jotka eivät palvo tätä kuvaa, tulee tappaa. That's what we were talking about, the temple. Siitä me juuri puhuimme temppelistä. And getting prepared. Ja valmistautumisesta. You might say, oh, but I don't like this. Voit ehkä ajatella, että mutta en tykkää tästä. I would say to you, better be prepared. Minä sanon, että on parempi valmistautua. Because the Holy Spirit is preparing you right now. You do not have a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. And this evening, you can feel the magnificent presence of the Holy Spirit. And wherever you go, is the magnificent presence of the Holy Spirit. And the great Lord Jesus Christ within you. So as we look at this scripture, in verse 15, we're talking about an image. Well, apparently, the whole of the sky is a screen. And with holograms, they can flash anything, anywhere, and that sky can be lit up by anything. I don't know whether you saw the old Batman movies, but they used to flash that bat up there, remember? Do you know Jesus has been preparing you for years for this? Going through your trials and all the different things of your life. You found out. I hope that you need to rely on Jesus and not yourself. And you and your household shall be saved. Jesus is much better at doing it than you. And 
pelastu. Ja Jeesus tekee tämän pelastustyön paljon paremmin kuin sinä. I believe. Minä uskon. That when you go through a fiery trial, you count it all joy. Kun minä uskon, että kun menet tulisen koettelemuksen läpi, niin sinä tulet laskemaan sen kaiken iloksen. Because everything is designed for us to go to Jesus instead of me a man or devil or but to directly to Jesus. And say, yes, Lord, you can take care of everything because I trust you and I love you. Jesus says, Jesus says, yes, my child, I love you too and I will take care of you no matter what you do. No matter where you go, as long as you read my word and speak it out and truly repent and say, Father, I am so sorry. So verse 16 says, yeah, and he causes all but small, great, rich, poor, free, bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Se pelottaa kaikki, pienet ja suuret, rikkaat ja köyhät, vapaat ja orjat, ottamaan oikean käteensä ja otsansa melko. And that no man might buy or sell, say we have the mark of the beast, the name of the beast, or the number of his name, here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. <coughs> and his number is 603 score and six. Ja, kenenkään ei ole lupa ostaa eikä myydä mitään, ellei hänellä ole tätä merkkiä, joka on, joka on peron nimi tai sen nimen luku. Tässä vaaditaan viisautta. Se, jolla on ymmärrystä, laskekoon peron, peron nimen lukuarvo. Se on erään ihmisen luku, ja se luku on 666. We're talking about the Antichrist. Me puhumme Antikristuksesta. When the temple is built, kun temppeli rakentuu, according to Thessalonians, Thessalonians, there's a man of perdition who is going to go into that temple on hiljaisen mies, joka menee sinne temppeliin. Demand worship. And if you understand tonight that the temple itself, as far as I can see, is not that dome of the rock. That is not the inside. The site itself is in the city of David. That's where Solomon built the temple, of course. And when the architect, archaeologists have been digging around that area, they have found the places where the people, the priests did great sacrifices. Because they were slaughtering huge amounts of animals as a sacrifice. And these animals, the blood would have run along these big troughs that they made. Actually, it would have been like a slaughterhouse. Itse asiassa se olisi niin kuin teurastustalo. And we are in reality, church. Ja me olemme todellisuudessa. It's okay for you to know this. On, 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 aivan on, And be prepared. On, on, että sinä tiedät tämän. Because the Holy Spirit will prepare your mind, but he has only one condition. Sillä pyhä henki valmistaa mieltä. Don't mielestä. take my word for it. Ja mutta Herra on vain yksi. Get um, the word of God. Yksi ehto. Because we know this world has been going through some very big traumas. 
story and throw away a lot. And we need to look at reality. Don't play la la church. La la church. We don't want to be the la la's. We want to be in the truth. It sets you free. Son of God has set it free. We are free. And this is what he's showing us tonight. So when the Antichrist goes into the temple, say you must all worship me. Who will be in him? I believe Satan will be in him. And when he is in him, he is definitely not going to want us to worship Jesus. Too bad, so sad. Because he is only a little devil. When Jesus died on the cross, and he shed his blood, and the last words he said, it is finished, it is done. When he said that, he took him down off the cross, and then Jesus went and took that little devil and made an open display before the whole of the universe. Let's have a look at Colossians. Look at Colossians. Turn to that one, please. Colossians and chapter 2 verse 15. And having spoiled, disarmed principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing them over them in it. Hän riisui aseista valta ja voima ja saattoi ne kaikki häpeään, kun hän teki Kristuksesta niiden voittajan. So he got that little devil and he made an open display and he took that little devil and threw him down and said, it is finished. One lady in the church said to me, I always thought the devil was so big. And I said to her, the devil is a little devil, and God is a huge big God, almighty, all-powerful. And that's the God we serve. You know we are saved from the wrath of God to come. Because so many people are coming against God's laws. And the more they do, the more angry God becomes. But God never sends anyone to hell. People choose to go there. And if we understand this tonight, we will get hold of something tonight and begin to realize that there is coming this time when God will pour out the Spirit on all flesh and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Old men dream dreams. Young men dream visions. And tonight, church, we are looking at something that is very real because it is apparent to us all. If anyone has an iPhone, don't you wonder sometimes where those images are coming from? 
Don't you sometimes wonder when you're watching television where it all comes from? Because we do not fully understand technology, do we? I don't think even the scientists do. I don't think people understand it at all. Because if they did, I think we would have a very different planet to what we have now. And we understand tonight that Isaiah the prophet was a fully fledged prophet. He was full on prophet to the kings. And what he said was, Well, I am undone. I am a man with clean lips living in a in a in a country or a world or whatever of men with unclean lips. Makes you wonder what he was doing before. For you are lights in the world. In a crooked and perverse nation where you shine. We have to learn to trust God. With what is happening in our lives, church. And when we see where it says neither buy nor sell, that someone has the mark. The microchip actually goes in the right hand. And the microchip is the size of a grain of rice. It goes on a hypodermic needle and gets put in the hand. And other places. But one of the places it will go is on the forehead. So is it when people go to the airport and they go up to the machine, take the thumbprints, take the eyes, take the photo, and there's no chip in someone's head, they're going to say, you're not part of our system. So you better go home because you can't get on our plane. Preparation. Everything tonight is preparation. Preparing you. And who's going to prepare you? I certainly am not. Holy Spirit is preparing us. Getting us ready, church. And when it says neither buy nor sell, all the food in the supermarkets are going to come out. And where are they going? They're going on the internet. Ja kun sanoit, että ei voi ostaa eikä myydä, niin mitä tapahtuu kaikille ruualle, joka on supermarketeissa nyt? Kun se siirtyy internettiin. Ainoa paikka, mistä voit ostaa ruokaa, on internet. Not for us though. Mutta ei meitä. We don't need that food. Me ei tarvita heidän ruokaa. Because we are not going to be subject to that, believe me. Koska me emme tule olemaan tämän alaisia. What are we going to be subject to? Mikä alaisia me tulemme olemaan? How did Jesus? The 5,000. How did he feed the 15,000? I would say there were 5,000 men, plus women and children. We're looking at 15,000 people all seated on where he told them, put them all on the grass. And we'll give them a good dinner. He said to Andrew, go down the shop and buy some food. Andrew said, I'm sorry, all the shops are closed. So what did Jesus do? He saw a boy. And he had five loaves and two little fish and they were in a big basket. And he went up to the boy and said, excuse me, can I have your 
And the boy said yes, Jesus. And he got the big basket. And he got the bread. And he put it in his hands. And he looked up and he said, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Isä meidän, joka olet taivaasta, pyydetty olkoon sinun nimesi. Tulkoon sinun, tapahtukoon sinun, tulkoon sinun valtakuntasi ja tapahtukoon sinun tahtosi maan päällä niin kuin taivaassa. Ja anna meille tänä päivänä meidän leita, joka päivänä leitamme. And he broke it. Ja hän mursi leivän. And he got the fish and broke it. Ja hän otti kalan. And he kept breaking it. Ja hän jatkoi. More bread, more fish, more bread, more fish. Soon he had a big basket full of bread and fish. Koska kohta oli suuri korinne täällä leipäin. And he said to the disciples, bring your baskets over here. And they began to fill their baskets with the bread and fish. And they went to the people. And Jesus said, now go and distribute among the people. And they began to give it out. More bread, more fish, more breaking it, breaking it, and soon fifteen thousand people were fed. Yeah, he, he had got leva murta mistä ja kamista ja leva murta mistä ja kamista kunnes viisitoista tuhatta ihmistä oli ruotu. By Jesus. Jesus. Oli tehnyt sen. But where is Jesus? Mutta missä Jesus on? He's in you. Hän on sinussa. And he's going to do it again. Ja hän tulee tekemään sen uudestaan. But he's going to use you. Because I find the amazing thing is when Peter walked around the planet, walked around uh, around Israel, around Jerusalem. Jesus was on the outside of it. Forty days later, when he came off the cross, when Jesus came off the cross, he was on the inside of it. Was that difficult? How amazing was that? All of a sudden, Jesus is talking to him inside instead of outside. And that is the same Jesus Christ within you. And this is what we're looking at tonight. And what about the woman in the Old Testament? She had a little pot of oil. When she went to the prophet, and she went to Isaiah, yeah, uh, sorry, not Isaiah, wrong one. <laughs> sorry. Uh, when she went to Elisha, she said, Elisha, they're going to take me home. <laughs> she said, I'm going to take my home. They're going to take my boys. I've got a big mortgage. What am I going to do? And of course, he said to her, what do you have in the house? She said, a little pot of oil. He said, well, go around all the neighbours and get as many pots as you can. Big pots, little pots, all kinds of pots. And she went in the house with the boys, shut the door, and began to pour it out. And pour it out. And she kept pouring, and it kept filling. And she's keeping pouring. Soon all the pots are full. And then she goes to the man who buys oil. And when he saw the oil, he said, where did you get that oil from? That's the best oil I have ever seen. And of course she was able to sell it and get out of debt and her boys and everything was... But the question is, who poured it out? Ja tietenkin hän pystyi sillä rahalla, millä hän myi sen öljyn, niin maksaa kaikki velkansa ja pelasti tilanteen. Sheep on the air. Get you some palm oil. Palm oil is 
to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kind of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the same, same spirit, dividing to every man severally as he wills. Siksi sanon teille selvästi, että kukaan, joka puhuu Jumalan hengen valtaamana, ei voi sanoa, Jeesus on kirjoittu. Kukaan ei myöskään voi sanoa, Jeesus on Herra, muuten kuin pyhän hengen vaikutuksesta. Armulahjoja on monenlaisia, mutta henki on sama. Myös palvelut ovat monenlaisia, mutta Herra on sama. Jumalan voiman vaikutuksia on monenlaisia, mutta hän, joka meissä kaikissa kaiken vaikuttaa, on sama. Hän antaa hengen ilmetä itse kussakin erityisellä tavalla yhteiseksi hyödyksi. Yhden ja saman hengen voimasta toinen saa kyvyn jakaa viisautta, toinen kyvyn jakaa tietoa. Toiselle sama henki suo voiman uskon voiman, toiselle parantamisen lahjan. Joku saa voiman tehdä ihmeitä, joku profetoimisen lahjan, joku kyvyn erottaa henget toisistaan, joku kielellä puhumisen lahjan, joku taas kyvyn tulkita tällaista puhetta. Kaiken tämän saa aikaan yksi ja sama henki, joka jakaa kullekin omat lahjansa niin kuin tahtoo. Get ready, church! Valmistaudu seuraavaksi. You're about to do the mighty supernatural acts as the Holy Spirit wills. These nine gifts of the Spirit are given to us, church. Valmistaudu tulla tekemään. Ihme, äh, ihme, ihmeellisiä ihmettekoja, kuten Pyhä Henki johtaa. Nämä yhdeksän lahjaa on, mitä Pyhä Henki antaa seurakunnalle. And the Holy Spirit will distribute them severally as he wills. Ja Pyhä Henki jakaa nämä niin kuin hän tahtoo. You understand tonight, Lord? Ymmärrät, että tänä iltana. Lord, we ask you, Lord. Because as we understand you, Lord, God help us to see this. God help us to be prepared. Let each one of us know who we are in Christ. Because you are priests and kings. You are sons of God. You are royalty of the Most High God to serve and to serve people as the Spirit leads you and guides you and brings you into all truth. Tonight we pray that we will come under this understanding that we have that victory in you, Lord Jesus. And we are able to be prepared and made ready. For God has an army who's going to march through this land. Deliverance is their song and healing in your hand. Everlasting joy with gladness in your heart and in this army. Yes, King Jesus. We have a heart. And as we pray, we pray for the Holy Spirit. 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 We pray for the Holy
Is anything too difficult for them? Onko mitään mahdotonta sinulle? Thank you, Kiitos, Pyhä Kiitos, Jeesus. So this evening, tänä iltana, we thank God that we can come together in freedom. Me kiitämme, että voimme tulla always be able to do. So I would suggest do some study. Talk to each other. Get the revelation of what the book of Revelation is. The book of Daniel, Ezekiel, all these books mean to us. Because we're going to need it first. And we thank God. And thank you Lord for everything. And praise Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus.